You can't spend a lot of time with your boyfriend if no, you spend sorry. a lot of time with your sugar daddy. So that's really the only reason why it didn't work out. Is I'm thinking it, she's thinking it, we're thinking it, and, and you're, you're watching, watching you're, you're thinking, thinking it. it. So welcome back, thinkers. So I came up with a whole new name for y'all. Y'all are thinkers now, so congratulations. We just upgraded you. So today we're going to be talking about, right, it makes sense. I knew it made sense. Because you're thinking it with us, I'm just saying. So you're thinkers, congratulations. You didn't play yourself. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about what would you do for the bag? What would you do for the bag? There's only one that in the song like that that I used to listen to. What would you, would do, you do, do for the paper? That's how original Big Wallace went. Oh, I like that. What would you do for the paper? I like that. I do remember him. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Like, what are your limits? You know, what's too much? There's a lot of stuff that's trending. Would you be a part of it? You know, selling a little. Well, we didn't get into that yet. Yeah. So we well, gonna yeah, do a little something different. No, it's not different now. Do you even have now limits? Now you know. Some people don't have limits. I feel like. But it's a different world. So Ooh. I don't know. I guess that's what we are gonna talk about. Is it different to us or to you? Because remember, you're thinking what we're thinking. So you're thinking. Okay, go ahead. What we doing, Shay? What we so doing? So we're starting off with a game, and the game is what is the game called? <laughs> 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 so we're gonna be playing a game, and we're from New York. That's why I don't know how dinner really comes to mind quickly, cause we're from New York. I saw this list the other day, and it was like terms you will only understand and mean multiple things if you're from New York. Yeah. So anyway, our game is called That's a Go or That's Slow. Because if you're from New York, chances are you've heard somebody say something slow, like the plans are slow. Like, yeah. you know, you might talk to a boy, he might, like, he might be like, it's slow for the night. <laughs> You might only understand it's slow for the night if you're from New York. I don't know who else says that. I only hear that from our people. So anyway, we're playing it's a go or it's slow. Because we're going to talk about these, what can I call it, like, these new for the bag ideas that have probably been around, but as we said, are becoming more normalized. Like, it's basically okay. going viral. Got it. All right, let's go. Okay. So, number one, feet pics. It's slow. It's slow. It's really slow. It's slow. I was on YouTube. I don't know why he recommended it for me. A girl was like, she sells feet pics on Kick, Instagram. Ever since it recommended that, I've seen it on all different types of social media. Girls wow. get paid for their feet pics on Twitter, Instagram. Kick is still around. All these different types of things. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, what would you do for the bag? I feel like that's a slippery slope, though, because there's a lot of weirdos, and I mean, the guy who's paying for your fee, he could be potentially trying to come and see you in person. No? I don't know. We'll get to that. Um, only fans, not naked, but sexy pics. I see girls doing only fans lingerie. Are you doing? Ten dollar subscriptions for people to see you in your bra and panties. It's slow. It's slow. Definitely slow. Right. It's slow. It's slow. Yeah. Um. But what you do for the bag? Exotic dancing. Ooh. It may be a go. <laughs> it may be a go. You might go to a little bar, OT or something. You might get on the pole. <laughs> I got a pole inside the living room. It may be a go. You know, maybe if I. Joy, would you ever get up there in another state for amateur night? I feel and like. And just give him a little routine. Nah, I feel like it's slow. You better want some little biker shorts. I feel like if I didn't, sports, if I didn't have like the upbringing that I had, the like I feel like I wouldn't. You know, I, as soon as I hit the pole, I can hear my mom like, oh, yeah. in my ear. You know what I mean? Like. No, it's a slow thing. Yeah. It's right slow now. for me because I'm just shy to even dance regular around people. I doubt right? I would ever literally be shaking my ass like on a serious note at amateur night. It just I just 
I couldn't even take myself seriously, so it just wanna work out. What okay. would you do for the bag? <laughs> okay. And my last one to bring up what Joy was saying, um, blind dating and like dating for pay. Are you going out with a guy who says that he'll pay you? Mm. Wow. It's a thing. Wow. We won't get into that because we are not trying to give y'all tips on how to exploit yourself. No. But you know, um, it's a go I, or a slow. I think it may be slow. Okay. Sounds kind of creepy. Okay. Mm. You? I think it's crazy we go on dates with guys and here's a guy who wants to take you on the date and pay you. And pay you. It's just so interesting. I know. That's. Like, what's going on? You want There's to some be guys that just like, I mean, if you go out with me for the day, then, you know, I feel like that's, of I feel like that's how you care of. You know, sometimes yeah, I feel like that's a do it, I might send you with a little, you know, a little buck when you're away. All right, so what is it for you? Um, Y'all already know if we get into sugar daddies, like, if, if, um. Shay, answer the question. Is it a go or is it slow? It's a go, depending on who, <laughs> who it is. It's depending on who it is. It's a go. It's a go. Why am I not going to take money if you want to compensate me for spending time with you? Okay. Yeah. What so would that, you do for the bag? All right, y'all. So there's a lot of new hustles going on. You know, social media is just making it real accessible for creeps to find you. You yeah, know, definitely. do you get those DMs that ask you, do you want to be a sugar baby? I yes. do. Like 50 times a I day. I do. So now, that's why we talking about that. Because we want to know what happened to the regular old sugar daddies. Like, well, they just pick you up at the bar and stuff. You that's know, how I used to hear that that's how you find a sugar baby. Yeah, baby. you know, you just at the store and you find them. Like, are they still out there? But, you know. Are y'all watching? You know, like. Because comment. Let us know. My personal Instagram comment at my personal Instagram. That's what you meant. Are y'all watching? I'm over here. I'm about to be like, comment and let us know if they still out there. But she over there, like, if the Shuggy Daddies is watching at your underscore thinking underscore. If you're looking at young, young females, hardworking, that could always use another source of income, here is one. Here is one. I have a job and you see I'm out here being hard working right now, things like that. But I also <laughs> would like for somebody to put me on their frequent flyers, oh, my yeah. high club list. I also would like to use somebody's yacht for free. I also would like, you know, to get my weaves done for free and things like that. My nails, you so, know. What's up, y'all? Uh, <laughs> okay, so really I wanted to know if y'all would ever be down with it if that opportunity presented itself, Definitely. but she's making the opportunity. So <laughs> for you now, because I mean she did that. So Okay, so like I feel like there's two questions there. Has the opportunity ever presented itself? Okay. Yes, the opportunity has presented itself. Ooh, because how was that? Oh, um, that was a question? That wasn't a question. I said put it in the comments, but she oh, has... Wait. I like that. I knew we were going to build on this question because we can get back to has the opportunity ever presented itself. Yeah. But Let her so what it. happened? What happened? Okay, so... I, I gotta watch what I say. I gotta watch what I say. But basically, you know, you meet older men out in the world, right? And they could be your uncle's friend, they could be your grandfather, whoever, your dad's friend. Joy. You meet people out. What? Who was it? Who, Who was, was it? it? It was somebody in the church. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, what was the offer? How'd you know they wanted to, to travel? Be a to travel? Yeah. To travel where? Around the world. I have so many Around the so world. He was from the church, so he's already have seen you. Mm -hmm. Prior to a but he saw me grow up, so it was like, oh, oh very oh, that's a different. Yeah. Very, I was watching. No, it. no, yeah. young ladies, that's not the sugar daddy to go for. No, <laughs> no. But you have a story about a sugar daddy approaching you. Yeah, I think you already know my story, but let me share with y'all you too. Okay. Actually, at a recent one, he was black, so that's why I figured not oh, pursue it. I didn't want to end up being a black one at the Cuban. I didn't want to be in like a. You know, a black Netflix movie or something, uh -huh. or like a bad white Lifetime movie. So you know, 
Cause just I'm actually bad okay. and white. Let and me it, cause white. let me just tell you why. Bad let me just company. start from the. <laughs> let me just start. Maybe okay. black ones too. So yeah. the first sugar daddy was like maybe like a year and a half ago. I was in Marshalls. What we will get to as a segment on Instagram, I think, is you guys will get a lot of information into what type of shopper I am. So anyway, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, is regular department stores. I purposely go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx in Manhasset out here because they have luxury things for the half off prices. Okay. Like literally, like there's like a Mm -hmm. A Louis bag in the TJ Maxx. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't in TJ Maxx, unfortunately. I was in Marshalls. They don't have Louis bags. But I was in there picking up Tim's, and some Russian man is watching me try on my Timberlands. So me being aggressive on me, I was like, Um, am I in your way? Like, do you need a size or something? Because I'm trying to figure out what size I need. And I just felt him hovering over me. So he's like, no, keep going. Was, I just, it, she, this is a potential taking right here. Like, as soon as they started being Russian, I'm just like, mm, no, scurry. Go ahead. Scurry. I will never be taken to be. Go ahead. Go. Anyway, so he's watching me trying to Timberland. So I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what size I want. He's like, okay, well, he's like, well, when you figure out what size you want, you know, you can meet me by the register because I'll just buy them for you. Oh. I think, you know what the thing Hi. about Shay? You thought about a sugar daddy. I don't think Gabby would. Gabby just went, oh, look at the kindness of your heart. Like, so <laughs> that's what I thought at first. I'm like, we why walked, God always keeps we, we us. Walked, <laughs> we walked around the store. Wow. We talked about his grandkids that visit. Mm. And then he started talking about his different houses. Then I, he started talking about, you know, just how he likes to travel and stuff. So I was like, okay kind of see where he's going mm. and then he was like we should exchange numbers and you should let me know when we could like speak more because i'll take you out to dinner we could like speak more he definitely was trying to set up an arrangement definitely gave him my number just me having a boyfriend no i i just it was um the time frames you can't spend a lot of time with your boyfriend and no, you spend a lot of time with your sugar daddy. So that's really the only reason why it didn't work out is because it's like your, I wasn't it. Even though I'm not that busy of a woman, what? I had to reschedule with him so many times because it was like, I'm with my boyfriend, do sugar daddy bring you out? Can you tell them? Can you tell them? Say, I don't even think you understand why I was so weak. I don't get it, yeah. Probably tell your sugar daddy. Whoa. Could we do dinner with me and my boyfriend maybe? Or if not, I have to reschedule to when he's fine with that. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's what it's going to work out. And then the second guy was There's a black more. guy. Yeah. That was just How much the guys other are day. there? How much are no, there? this is the only other sugar okay, daddy. Okay, because I'm like, girl. So, so the black sugar daddy. I While you were still with a boyfriend. Day. Oh, the other day. Yes, this was literally like maybe three weeks ago. Now I'm, I'm in dead. Elmai. I'm officially sleeping. I'm in Elma at the gas station minding my business. My Honda looks like <laughs> shit for anybody who ever seen me in person. Yeah. Don't actually, by the time these videos really get to where I'm gonna not have a Honda. But anyway, so currently while we're instance. recording this, I have a Honda. Mm -hmm. So I was getting out the car and this guy is like you don't have no gloves to pump your gas so then i was like who the fuck needs gloves though and yeah because like, of covid i thought of that last time too when i, I have sanitizer them. in the car mm -hmm. so he's like when you come back i'm gonna pump your gas for you so then he was like matter of fact he was like how much is it to fill your tank so i'm like it's 30 dollars to fill my tank so he's like man that's the life of having a honda because meanwhile his like bmw convertible is a friend of me and stuff okay. and he asked for my number and stuff but he was black so like i said you know he might probably you know i just didn't want i probably might have seen his wife or something She's black, it's just, you're black in Elmont. So you I might have went to school with your daughter you or something. It. it was just gonna hit too close to home. All right, so black. she takes the opportunity when she feels it's the best opportunity. Yeah, the black guy wasn't gonna work out. That's really, and like, he might my dad or something. Got it. Yeah. All right. 
Yeah. If you want to know how to split a spot a sugar daddy, if you're out with your friends, like I was out with my friend, my, one of my coworkers that I know, um, and we were well dressed. Yes, we were sitting down, we were eating and stuff like that. They're usually at the bar, ladies, and they're usually that guy by himself, nicely dressed, just you know, just. Oh, remember when I missed that one? Remember when I thought yeah. I went out to dinner with this boy? Yeah. And the the nigga right next to me is like, "What are you drinking? What do you want to drink? Some old white guy." I'm like, "He's like, yeah. What do you What do you want to drink?" I'm like, I'm "Like on the birthday dinner date and everything." Yeah. He keeps asking me, "What do I want to drink?" Yeah, and he definitely was at the bar. Yeah, trying to pick it up. Yeah, all right. So yeah. I, but the moral to so I did avoid him. Like I already saw what he was trying to go at. I was just like, I I'm love him. I peep you. I see you over there. When the opportunity presents, I'm looking for a fitting it, situation. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. So it's a no for you when it's fitting for her. But I, really however, me, I, I think, think I think for me. I think sugar daddy. We should have sugar daddy in later times of our life. I think sugar daddy should be for like the thirties, forties, because you really you have them you, nerve. Why at thirties, forties? Yes, you know why? Because at thirties, forties, you're a you, grown woman. Thirty, forty. Listen, exactly. thirty, forty. You really yes, understand. You, you really understand what the bills. Okay, I'm sorry to kill your mood, Joy, but sugar daddies literally go for people who, like, have, like, um, you know, bills that are not necessities, or, you know, sugar daddies You said you're saying younger women. Yeah. Yeah, like, but, that, but that's what I'm saying. Me. I'm saying, okay. No, but I'm just I'm saying, saying to a seven, it I'm, wouldn't be that name anymore. I'm saying to a 70-year-old man. A thirty-year-old. Ew, who should the daddies be seventy? Some people. Let's be honest. And a Nicole Smith. I'm just leaving it there. Okay. That's all I gotta say. All right, fine. Whatever. If you like fifty, it makes sense for your sugar, your sugar baby to be like in her twenties. Twenties, right? Um, you're fifty. You probably have enough money that you already paid for your kids to be well off in college. So now you have enough money to also pay for me to go to college and stuff. If you're like 40, you're probably, you've already established yourself. They're trying to help establish somebody. That's what makes them feel like the daddy part. Try to find somebody who like has some things they want to establish. If your credit score is already a 750, they really don't have much to help you with. You know, if you already have a Porsche, they don't have much to help you with. But they like when they see me in my little Honda. Yes, help me. Help me. So y'all let us know in the comments. If are you, you for... Not if you want help. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you want help. Don't get a sugar daddy. Right? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> snatching these girls. So let us know don't in the comments. Daddy. Are you for the sugar daddy, okay? Is that what you're doing for the bag? For the bag, for the bag. Ooh, boo-hoo, help me get out the Honda. Boo-hoo, I owe $2,000 to college. Help me. Joey's gonna talk about the people who are like, you know, maybe you, maybe you don't want to get one of Paul. You're a little conservative. Yep. But maybe you would do a little DoorDash. Okay, so I, so what's that then, Joy? So here are some ways to hustle for the bag. Okay? For the hustle, bag. Hustle. Oh, hustle, 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 hustle. 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 To the H to the U to the S to the T to the L to the Y. What T? L is hustle. Hustle don't have a T. H U S T L E. You gotta let me finish it. It's H U S. I think of Nipsey Hustle. He doesn't have a T. Cause I'm like, girl. And you know that's bad. Cause I was just talking about bougie. They about that new generation thinking bougie is B O U J E D. J. Wow. That's how they spelled J. That's what I said. I haven't seen that. That's how Migos spelled bad and bougie with the J. Oh, okay. So there are kids who think bougie is spelled with a J. Right. All right. right. So, anyway, so how can you hustle for the bag? So, some ways you can hustle for the bag. You got Uber, you got Lyft, you got Uber Eats. You got Postmates, you have um, Grubhub, and they make DoorDash. Like you yep. know what I mean? So you can be hustling. And you make your own schedule for those. Yeah. I don't want to work for nobody, people. Yeah. And and you're by yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've actually done Postmates before. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's all, you know, you just you on your own schedule. You yeah. clock in when you want to clock in. You don't necessarily need a vehicle for all of those apps. Yeah. Sometimes so. you can actually have a bike and do Instacart and stuff like that. That too. Yeah. Or you could, you could. Just for the people who aren't there yet. Not really. Yeah. 
Also, you have Fiverr or Upwork where you can just solicit your own stuff. What do you do? Are you an accountant? Are you, you know what I mean? You could be your own artist. Boy. Yes, yeah. are you an artist? Are you graphic designer? Mm -hmm. Like, stuff what like are that. your talents? When so I saw small stuff on Fiverr, like I said, like, are you good at data entry? I was always good at filling out applications really fast. There's somebody in the world that's so lazy they want you to fill out all their job applications for them. Yeah. They're just gonna pay you ten dollars to fill out all their job applications. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people actually started like this in college. They would yeah. do the essays and stuff. Like yeah. people's essays. Shout out to y'all because y'all the real ones. Yeah. Just saying. And I didn't use y'all, but I appreciate y'all. Yes. Because that's amazing. I wish somebody would have yeah. shit. Like people's write. essays, Can't resumes. Write Anything you're good at. Yeah. 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 And then also, you can do Amazon, you can do Etsy. So, Raw Hair Essentials is actually on Etsy, and I must say, like, it opens you up to a plethora of other things. So, you can do stuff like that. You could also even have a Shopify and do stuff yep, just yep, yep. out of your house. Yep, yep. You know? So, um, and eBay just, also. eBay. Start not eBay. Business, eBay is still period. there. Yeah. 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 Start selling. Gabby yeah, yeah. knows when I was in high school. I would get Jordans and like, I wasn't being like a reseller on purpose, but you know, I would just wear them a couple times and like, mm, yeah, I don't Posh even Mark. wear them a lot, exactly. Right. Poshmark, yes. Mercari. Wish, yeah. Uh -huh. Just set yourself up as a vendor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Depop, you can do that on Depop Amazon. Depop is another good site to me, whether you're reselling things that already exist, or rework things, or like Joy said, if you have your own brand, yep. Depop pop is really good for like clothing. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Like the ultimate, one of the ultimate ways to hustle for the bag is to set yourself up as LLC. So if you are Ooh. someone like me, where you have so many ideas and so many different businesses you could come yeah. up with, you can actually put an LLC and when they say active seven to ten active streams of income, they mean seven to ten active active streams of income in your LLC. Yeah. Okay, so you put stuff in your LLC. Now, when you're in your LLC, all you have to do is okay. I have manager skills. I'm gonna be in a ma uh, manager consultant. That's one part of your business. Oh, I have um planning skills. I could be a party planner. That's gonna be your other side hustle. And there you go, boom. They just start stacking up. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, make money. The last thing that you can do to make money, if you have no money, especially starting, is YouTube. If you have you your phone pay. and somewhere, like we have all this cute stuff, like proper lighting, and we're gonna get even better lighting, but yes. we, like you said, people growth, people like, Brett, whatever his name is, Brett Minrox and Nikita Dragon and stuff. Yeah. You can start off with start your somewhere. phone and a corner with a really good lighting and the record button and I just start to, a YouTube. I used to watch, his name is Brett, right? I used to watch Brett when Brett was just at home with his family. Me too. And yes, and he used to have some great yeah. freaking segments. Like, he still got some yeah. great segments. And we appreciate them. Yeah, segments. Aaliyah okay. J was when she used to wear Vaseline as moisturizer. Right? Yeah. Okay. And Nikita, let me tell you something. The pictures, honey, the photo shoots, living for it. Okay. So now, I just want to let y'all know that, yes, you can start off with a YouTube or you can do... What we are beginning to do, and I'm so excited, <laughs> y'all. We have such exciting news, okay? And I just, yeah, I'm bubbling, I'm overflowing, because yes. God has been so good to me. God is good. Good to all of us. Yes. We are announcing our very, 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 yes. our very first. Mm -hmm pop-up shop okay yeah. we come in live to y'all on nassau county new york about we will be, be hosting nassau county new york we are the county new york, york. Yes. okay come please. out come out please come There's out There's something for everyone please come like, support. Let's be we honest. have kids games we're gonna have voter registration booths we gonna have 2020 census um out there because y'all voice it matters and you need to be counted absolutely we're gonna have did i say kids games yes you did. we're gonna have a photo booth we're gonna have over, over 30 vendors out there yes. we're yes. gonna have food, food. vendors yeah. look everything we're gonna have free food, food distribution clothes, let's be honest lashes, free food hair. distribution how can i forget that White school teams, supply giveaway supplies. yo we're Get even having that. a contest buttons we're having a contest make sure you enter the contest everything yes. everything yes so we're hosting a pop-up y'all and 
we will be releasing our very first merch yeah. line. For your thinking is. Yeah, and I just want to stop merch. one second. We are a team. We, we, we are no better than, you know, the creativity of every single person. So I want to take one second mm. to highlight Miss Unapologetic yes. Shay over here yes. because she is the curator behind this pop up shop. She is the curator behind our merch. And when you see the merch coming, it's yeah. fire. When you see the planning that we got yeah, in store for y'all, because if you think the pop up yeah. is, that's it. That's when you see it. how the community is coming together, so, okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up? And, and, and I would like to say, on behalf of all of us on the serious note that um we're also going to be having a meet and greet so Ooh, um, if you out, come to our booth if you want to take a picture with me that's going to be worth framing um, yeah you know, we're going to have it all set up right now you can, you can answer me. some of these you're thinking of questions yes, we, we want to know from little, you yes we're yeah. going to have a little game for y'all so make sure y'all stop at our booth because we're gonna have everything set up and y'all gonna come yeah. answer a little questions with us, maybe win a little rap. So this, do you wanna this, play this, this. do you wanna play it's a go or it's a slow? Do you wanna play cap or, cap no, or no, cap? no cap? Like come on. Maybe we'll have a new game for yes. that. I mean I know you've been liking that, don't lie. So <laughs> You know, we're just really super excited to announce that this is a community day where we're bridging the community together with resources of the community, such as the food distribution, with us, the voter registration with, with us, and then not only that. Vlogging. We're definitely on the camera out there. Okay, we're gonna we have it all set up. Vlog. We're gonna have it all set up, okay? And our then also vlog. we are promoting these small businesses. So Absolutely. if y'all are a local vendor please. and you would like to come out, please, please our yeah. event bright will already be active by the time you're watching this video yeah, is going to be so active from Wednesday mm -hmm. our videos release on Sunday so please make sure that you go on our Instagram at your which is y-o-u-r-e underscore thinking underscore it will have the Eventbrite link in our bio press that and we have different tiers for y'all that have different type of amenities so please tune in and this is not yes. even oh Gab can I ask something? it's not even the last of it can I add something? Also for vendors, I just want to let you know, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my vendor spot for you, raw, raw hair essentials. But in that, I just also want to let you know these vendor spots are gonna fill up fast. Fast. Do not think that you have a whole bunch of time. So when it drops on the date that we, we gonna give you the date that You're drops on Wednesday. Wanna be there, yes. You gotta there. You gotta work. Cause I just feel like it's like going Airbnb. It's lit, y'all. You know when they promote the Airbnb, like it's right by the water. It's right by the train stations. <laughs> you know, we're right by Roseville Field. Yes. yes. We are right by National Coliseum. Yes. We, if you're from out of Long Island, like. I'm out. You're just going to be able to it's see a vibe. It's a DJ. Yes. It's a party. So it's a party. For real. It's a party. We about to show y'all something that Long Island doesn't really do, but this is what Long Island yes. is going to be like. Yes. Absolutely. Want and you want to connect with us because we have so, like. This is not even the first event, like all right? Party. This is the first avish, official event, okay? And, so, tune in. Fayette, September 13th, hold up. September 13th. September 13th. 1 to 7. 1 to 7 p.m. in the parking lot of ShopRite of Uniondale, which is located at 1121 Jerusalem Avenue. Tune the fuck in! <laughs> and if you want to order merch, you can yes. still go on our event, right? Even if you're not able to attend. Pre -order. And pre-order, honey. You can purchase we'll right through up. there. You can, sh you can pick it up. We're taking we'll this to a whole new level. Okay? A whole new thing. And, and when level. you see the merch, okay, thinkers? Gonna thinkers. Thinkers. thinkers! You thinking this? Because y'all been here from day one. Thinkers. And I just, I did. Period. And you're gonna meet Zomera, which is our new logo. Yeah. So you know what? I'm, there's just so much going on. If you're not following us on Instagram, I don't even understand what it is that you're doing. Your underscore thinking underscore it. Follow us. Because I just want you to be a part of the movement. That's really it. Follow and you know what? We're helping out on YouTube and like everything. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment on everything. And then subscribe and then unsubscribe and then subscribe and then unsubscribe and then and they just make sure you subscribe, like just do it. Yes, because you're thinkers. Yeah. Absolutely. And then also I just wanna say again, 
because Gabby said it, we appreciate Shay because Shay came up with this idea and we support one another. Yeah. And in supporting one another, out. anybody could tell you in a team, you're only as strong as your weakest link. Mm -hmm. And the best thing about us is we're steel. And you know There's what steel no does, right? Steel sharpens steel. So then, you know what I mean? We only here to enhance each other, build Absolutely. each other up. Yes. As my sis already said, she said that the brand has to have seven layers of income. As of right now, we have merchandise yes. and event planning. Stay the fuck tuned! Stay tuned! <laughs>